Hi boys and girls, welcome back to our channel. I'm Detective Jim. I'm Detective Paul and we're back in for you. Uh, it's, yeah, it's not a nice day, but it's a day out. Uh, we have got someone special. We've got a subscriber with us. Uh, he's new at Ritmel. First day out, so I'm trying to teach him what we know. He uses the Simplex, guys. I've just gone through with it, but I've not a clue myself. Uh, if anyone got any tips for us for the Simplex, Please let us know in the comments uh, and we're happy we'll, to, yeah, we're happy to take forward them on to Paul and Paul watches our videos anyway so yeah. Not only that boys and girls right, we can TikTok you. Yeah we're also on TikTok so you, if you're on TikTok you want to follow us, follow us on TikTok. Yeah, there's some uh, good live content. Facebook, uh, Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, yeah we're on all. So black, hey, <laughs> just click like, click button, click subscribe. But first Paul's got a shout out. <laughs> To my little guys in Miss Bates class, I can't say your names because of uh, legal reasons. But yeah, everybody in Mrs. Bates class, wish me luck and I'm going to find some good stuff for you today. And every time I get a coin, I'll say, here we go Miss Bates, this is a such a thing. So yeah, thanks a lot guys for subscribing, me and Jim's made up. You're absolute stars. See you Monday! Right, I got a little shout out, uh, a little friend of mine. Uh, she, her daughter did a picture of and she drew this. Wow! Wow! Well, let's get a little you. bit closer up. Thank you very much, Tegan. Thank you very much, kiddo. It Beautiful. On, it will go up on our wall. Yeah, it will go up on the sticker board. Yeah. Well, thanks again, Tegan, and we'll catch you on the next one. On to the next! In a bit. <laughs> Right guys, I'm with Paul, uh, teaching him how to metal detect. Uh, he's using the simplex. Uh, I'm not known to using this machine, so I think it's the high numbers that's a good targets. Uh, like I said, he's trying his hardest to, to learn as much as we do about this machine. Okay. She's getting a four. We've been digging fours and I think that's it's iron that so yeah. So Paul watches our videos. So if anyone's got any hints or tips that I can use, if you put them in the comments below, you can go down and have a look at the comments. And even if you plug your channel, uh, if, you use, if you use this machine, uh, put your channel in the description and I'll send it over to Paul so that you can watch your video. Uh, so yeah, right, we're we'll catching a bit. So well, guys, my next thing, we weren't really going to dig it. I think it's just a piece of lead. Just the... Uh, on to the next. Right guys, he's got a 76 there. So, yeah. So we're going to do this one here. He's got a 76. <laughs> you want to go with that again, Paul? See if we got it out. See if we got it out. Right, so it's down the out. And it's a nail. Well, it's a screw. Right, catch on that one. I've done a square and I've gone from that flag to this line. And I've a few things. Silver. But guess what, guys? Well, all I know is, either it's a hook Because I think there's a thread there Right guys, I've got my first target, Paul's gone now uh, Like I say, he's, he's learning uh, Learning this, that machine New at the game So i got my first target, and there you go 
it's my first coin. So that is a George, I think. Yep, there he is on the back front, Mark. And see if I get a date. 1915. There you go. First coin in the pot. All right, catch on the next one. Well, guys, I think he's a rivet. He was just over there with her needle. Right, guys, I've dug this target here. And it's a small horseshoe. Uh, very twisted. It is starting to rain, so we we'll probably won't be out here much longer. But yeah. The horseshoe. Alright, catch on that. Well, guys and gals, I've just had a surf. Well, uh, about two inch down, and it's ended up at this. The signal's perfect now. So, we'll see. If you see before we guys, give us a shout. I've even got my glasses on. It's small. Well guys, I'm gonna to have to hold on a minute. Just give us a minute, I think it's something important. Well guys, I've just come over to Jim, Jim's just helping Paul out. And it is silver. And uh, we think we may have a silver coin. It's coin silver. Drills. It's got one and a half. A uh, silver one and a half. It's got a date. We'll go and... Don't that too push, James. I'm yeah, just yeah. in a nice position here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to let Jim clean it, boys and girls, but I honestly thought it was nothing until I saw something. <laughs> Remember, guys, Jim Paul, Spins and Polish. It's a registered trademark on a new box. We ain't even got a sticker yet. It's when you guys just enlarging it, see what we can see. It is? 1862, one and a half pence. No way. That is absolutely awesome. Put it one way. Let me just try it. Sorry, it's 1832. 1832? What monarch is on it though? It cannot be Victoria, will it? I doubt it. I want to take a picture of the back. That is absolutely awesome. I've never seen one like that before. No? I thought three pence was the smallest denomination, apart from our half peak. I also thought. Well, guys. And gals, and my buddies in Miss Bates class. We are good luck, guys. I've found silver. We've only been here half an hour. And it's a one and a half pence, Jim says. See if we can get into some better light. But how tan is that? 1832. sorry. Well, we've been between 1837 and 1834, but we're definitely 1834. Just can't see a monarch. If anybody has any ideas, drop us a call. I've dropped it. Well, guys, what about that? Huh? Live dig. Paid off. How much is that? And it's a William. 1834. One and a half silver pence. At first, for me, I thought the smallest domination back then was the three pence. But uh, yeah, anyway guys, half an hour in, silver in the pot, on to the next. Right guys, just found this, uh, don't know what it is. It's just a little chest piece, but 
Yeah, and no, I've got a clue what that is. All right, catch on next. Well, everybody, just had a brew when we're back. Started raining. We're going to do another hour or two and then that's it. But, next signal. Don't really know what it is, but it was a scratchy signal, but it was one of them scratchy good signals. So, let me just check it again. No, that was it. Another button. Another button. Yeah, no far all up. Alright guys, I just took this one and it's in here somewhere. Let's see can we find it. Give me a cracking signal. There we go. Uh let's get a quick wipe. Down there a coin. Ah, it's a one P. Uh, yep, I want pence. Right, boys and girls, that's it for us today. That's a cracking wine for all of us. That little tiny silver coin. Go around our pence and no single laugh. So, yeah, there you go. Miss Bates class, pay me silver today. Thumbs up to everybody. Finding trash, not treasure. Yeah, exactly. So, on that note, guys, catch you on the next one. On to the next. Right, right, guys, I'm just doing a quick geocache where I am in my location and I just found it. Uh, I'll just give you a quick glimpse of where it is. Oh, what it is. There you go. Can you see it? Geocache. So, that's is what I'm going to sign. I'll throw the website up now. Uh, if you want to see how it goes and see if it's in your location, which it will be, have a quick go. And uh, it's fun for the kids. So I'm going to sign that geocache and I'll catch you later on. Right guys, as you can see on that uh, quick clip that I found that geocache, uh, I'll just want to show you quickly the website. So how you play this game is you sign up for it. It's free to join. Uh, you can upgrade which is 25 uh, 25 pound a year Which isn't bad and it unlocks everything else for you. So how you play is you click on play view map And you go on to uh, Put your area code which is mine is WA50DS That's my area code press search and I see on the screen uh, there's all these little boxes so how you play this game is you click on a box and it come up on the side uh, the location uh, what's what the uh, geocache is called uh, and uh, it gives you like coordinates where to find it uh, you can have ask it for hints uh, which that one is post so uh, that could be absolutely anything and all you do is go up go and look for it in that location it could be a big cache could be a little cache it could be absolutely anything but yeah it's a fun game to play definitely with children uh highly recommend people start playing this playing this as it is a fun game and it gets you out of the house and that so yeah so that's geocaching like I said there's all different types of geocaches there's the big ones little ones and some of them are in like really nice places so yeah so if you like that uh, jump over to geocaching.com and join and have fun playing right on that note guys that's it from me and Paul and we'll catch you on the next one bye for now